Hey everybody, welcome to Annie's Place. I'm going to do some scrapbooking today. Uh, I, this moth uh, was in our yard uh, probably three weeks ago, two weeks ago. It's one picture. I looked it up and it's a uh, polyphemus moth, Anthuria polyphemus. So I thought it was pretty cool. I saw two of them this year actually. So I was, I don't know, second one was right in the yard. I almost stepped on it. it was looking like that. Thought it was a leaf. No, because it's quite large. Look at its, look at its antenna and legs and then it just flew away. All right, so I'm debating. I like this with this. I also like this because it's butterfly paper. I'm just not sure whether to just put them right down or mat them. I think I'll probably mat them. I'm torn between the two browns. This brown match is probably a little better. With this in here. I think we'll do that. So let's mat them first. I'm going to leave them squared. I've cut them down already to the sizes I want. And this paper is from a paper pack. A color book. Card stock. It comes with all these neutral colors. Because uh, my daughter's in the military, I need a lot of uh, browns and such to go with the olive greens for her military stuff. I think I got this at Walmart. Uh, probably. I usually uh, find good packs there and they're hmm, probably eight bucks I suppose. Five bucks. Something like that. And this stuff. These two came in a pack. It was a scrapbook kit I got for Christmas. Um, so it had all different papers. It has embellishments. It came with the album. I'll show you the album. It's real cute. This is the album that came with that. This is adorable. There we go. Alright, let's mat these. I am going to pull up a chair. If you see my head, I apologize. Alright, let's go. Oh, see, I, maybe it's this. I've been having problems. I'm starting to think it's this dispenser. Usually I don't have problems. I wonder if there's some glue or something stuck. But this is a bad, bad deal here. Yeah, this one's broken too. Huh. This whole, uh, they come in two packs. And both of these were broken. Alright, we're going to make do. So I'm going to grab the first one. The back wheel fell off these. I'll make it work. If I had the receipt, or I don't even remember when I bought them, I'd probably exchange them, but they'll still work. So all I'm doing is just pushing the glue down, or the sticky dots. I'm trying to just stay on the paper, or on the picture, so we don't get it on the paper. Uh, I have really good luck with Elmer's um, sticks, or these tape runners, so I'm surprised. Must just have been a bad lot from the company. Alright, so I'm just going to put this down. And I just want a little bit of a border. And I'm flipping it over so I don't scratch the picture. And I'll cut this. Woo! done. Maybe this will fit this one. Pretty close. Right, use that. Today is uh, about 100 degrees out. 
So we did some stuff and now we're kind of hanging inside for the afternoon. It's, it's a little too warm to be outside. We're in Minnesota, we're not used to getting 100 degrees. Uh, once in a while, in the summer, like in July and August, we hit in the high 90s. Uh, and it gets very humid here, so nobody wants to be outside too much. Um, I know some of the folks in the southern regions, they're used to the 100 plus camps. It's a little more challenging to get blue dots on me. And see, and then we're complaining again then when it's 30 below <laughs> in February. Ugh. That's a hard one. Then it's hard to breathe when you go outside. Okay, so we'll trim this one down. use another tape runner but I don't have any any more refills for any of my guns. It's like when I go on a retreat or archivers and scrap I pick up a new runner but I don't pick up refills. So then this happens and I'm out. That's alright. Do with what you got. The reason this table is so high, it was this area that I'm working in is the former owner owner's like I don't know if he had a wood shop. I think it was probably more of a mechanical shop. Uh, so the this bench is really for standing up next to it. Works very well. glue dots on me. Oh, the air shut off for a little bit. Quiet. Alright. Isn't that matcha something? It's quite interesting. The eyes on the bottom on its hind wings. And, uh, I don't know. Most moths or butterflies, uh, you don't touch their wings. They have dust on them, and then when you remove the dust, it uh, prevents them from flying. And I'm, I've noticed that the dust does come off if you accidentally touch their wings. I don't know who told me that. Maybe it's my grandpa. Grandpas are smart. Tell you a lot of stuff. My grandpa was a avid gardener, as was my grandmother. They had the most beautiful gardens. I think I might have mentioned that in one of my edible garden videos with the zinnias. They had roses, all different stuff. Here we go. It's a little more challenging doing it this way, but it works. Okay. And we'll trim that up. Like so. Now we've got our matted pictures. I also, as I showed earlier, I printed this out. I only had an inkjet, so it might fade over the years, but I'm still thinking I'm going to attach that in there somehow. I don't know if I'll do a flip. I think you could flip it up to look at the. I'm not quite sure yet. Well, or if I'll just do two pages. I know these pages don't look the greatest together. But I like both and I couldn't decide, so I'm going to use both. That could go on there. I could mat this in brown and put it on this one. See, I like this big picture on there. That's quite, quite cool. Oh, it's neat on there, too. Oh, I don't think I have enough. Maybe. I just thought this one was fun because I had all the butterflies. But it does look better on here. We could pop this out. Pop this out. Maybe we'll do that. That looks better. Let's move that out of the way. 
And then how would we do this? Oh, you know what I could do is put um, one of those sleeves that you put papers in. Let me grab one. That might be an idea. This is just my everything book. I throw all my different ideas in here. Like one of these things with the three binders you can put in there. You can get these free things at Joann's. And drawings. There we got one right there. Oops. I buy these at Target. They're pretty cheap. Okay, put that out of the way. Just put that right in there. We could trim that up and mat that. Let's do that too. Okay, let's let's continue with this for now. All right. That looks kind of cool. I'm not sure how I would do a title. I could leave this as this and just write in here where I saw this. It was in the backyard that it was June 13th. Maybe I could print uh, something to go there. I do like the way this looks right here. So I'm going to do that. I got some foam squares to raise these up. I would like them lifted. I will we'll just start sticking this stuff down. <laughs> it does make it more challenging. I suppose I could bust out a glue stick. I'm not as big on the glue sticks. But we might be getting desperate where we're going to do a glue stick. Normally I wouldn't use this much pop dot pop dots uh, dots on here, but since we're just using the roll up, doesn't much matter. Make sure everything's sticky. Plus my fingers. And there's little dotted lines on here, so I'm just lining it up with that. So, do this one up in the corner. Big gunk up. Not right there. <laughs> I need you. Air conditioner again. Okay, this might not be working as well as I hoped. Oops, I'll just finish this one up. I don't want to get glue dots on the front of my pictures. And I'm just lining it up with the dotted lines on this paper. Let's get some of these blue dots off just in case. We're going to foam these others so we raise them up. We'll lift them once. I 
generally do the corners and then one in the middle. Sometimes two. It depends on the size so it doesn't depress or sag. to expose the adhesive. So what are big plans for this summer that everybody has? Anybody going anywhere? Doing anything? Uh, we're in July now. So our next big event would be the Minnesota State Fair. That's in August. And that runs actually through Labor Day. So that's late summer. Uh, the Renaissance Festival starts in August as well. So we don't have a whole lot of big plans until then, just hanging, doing stuff. I do have a scrapbook retreat I'll be going to next month. So I guess we have big plans for July. For myself and my family. What's that? Maybe do some bike riding, go to the state parks check things out. We do travel around quite a bit. Just, uh, just even in the area or just get out a bit. It's nice. Let's see. Right, so right up there. That way I have a little bit of room here. I'll put a little something something there. I want to put the date. I wonder if there's something in the kit that could go in there. There's some butterflies. Some stickers. chipboard cutouts. Alright, so we'll use that butterfly. I like that. I'm going to put it right there. I like it there. I wonder if they're sticky. Uh, oh. Let's put some dots. I keep calling them dots. Usually I have foam dots, not foam squares. That's why I refer to them as such. Beautiful day, wild, happy day, adventure, magical moment. That might be fun. It was kind of a magical moment. I think we will use that one. Let's see what's in here. Oh, that's nice. I am gonna wonder if I should map that. Let's look and see if we can see what it looks like. That looks nice. Nope, oh, we're going to leave it. usually somewhere in here. So I'll just do that. Grab my markers. Probably use... This has a fine town. This is Memory Mark... Markers? Memory Markers? But yeah, American Crafts. I probably got this on a retreat somewhere or archivers. So it has a fine tip. And this was on June 13th of 2012, so I'll just write that down here. Alright. Good. So there we go. 
so there's that scrapbook page. Uh, I will put uh, this somehow next to it in the book. So hopefully the three rings here will line up with the stuff in the album. If not, I'll make it work. I'll figure something out. So there's the page. I'll lift it up a little bit. Pretty. It's a pretty simple page. Uh, I have uh, my daughter's military book going and my regular book and then I have a pet book going. So a lot of these I don't get real fancy and I try to keep up to date. You can't always though. So thanks for watching Ice Play. See you next time. Bye bye.